people deluded i'm back again um who is i here to speak about dylan crow young fullback right back he plays for he plays for ipswich um england international as well um not the most groundbreaking of news of course but i think arsenal shouldn't put in a cheeky bid first reason i believe this is because allegedly the compensation is only five hundred thousand. now i think he's got a lot of potential to be a decent level fullback but if it didn't happen for him you'd like to think arsenal could make if you don't make back five hundred thousand a profit on that there's something wrong and if it didn't work out for him it's not the maddest of money but i believe coming here with obviously first team levels probably a long way away if he works to it i believe within a year or so he could be getting appearances i think he can get appearances from the get-go but i think within a year he could be proper establishing himself um if he works hard and stuff like that but um i'm going off topic um i believe considering sadly Vontae daily campbell is on the out he's confirmed he's leaving um i'll say two two there's rumors he's going to hamburg he's 20 he needs to go and play football vonte has gone we've got a decent right back coming coming um coming about from the first year scholars but we do look a bit light, so if we can get players with potential to kick on to the first team and, and get appearances and most importantly be competent when called upon, why not why not people? Like, I really like him and he's fairly good going forward. He likes to get forward, he needs no one's for insp- um invitation, sorry, to do that. Defensively again he's still raw and there's many aspects he can improve on as you'd expect someone eighteen years of age. Um but I think he can imp- he can really develop man. Um, and stuff man I think he's got a good engine on him as well man and I f- yeah man if these are the sort of shrewd additions you need to get into the club and we've been linked with him and we have watched him allegedly we have bought from Ipswich before you look at Harry Clark within our, our youth side and there's been other incidences didn't we buy that Marco Flores midfielder Mexican youth international from them as well um, I like him now it's not just us and if I was him he's got a lot to consider because he could stay at his current his current employer's Ipswich get his head down and work hard He's been linked with Celtic, a good project, potentially playing Champions League and a good pathway. He's been linked with Huddersfield Town. He could get football, and definitely get football there eventually and stuff like that. Build his name. Um, you never know. And he's been linked with Leipzig and a lot of young players have been going to Germany and doing the abroad thing. That could be an option. So I would love him to sign for Arsenal and things like that. And I believe we should really try and get him in. Um, again, a long way away from being a first team regular, but I think he's got decent potential um obviously i don't have the biggest knowledge on him and things i've only seen him a handful of times primarily for england or just being involved in england youth duty but i think he's decent and you can't go wrong his contract is in spite is expiring sorry and allegedly he's got no intentions of signing a new one based on reports so i think he's someone you should we should be looking at and i'm completely off topic here but last season you don't know me i just like to look at young players in general i'm not saying arsenal should sign him and things like that I just have an obsession with young players and I just like to see what's going on when I can, people. And I think Charlie Kalman, hopefully I've said his name correctly, I've briefly spoken about him before. South End striker, 17 years of age, he might have turned 18. He's decent. If you know nothing about him, you probably saw, I think he won League One goal of the season. He scored from his own, um, from the halfway line, forgive me if I'm wrong. He's a very good striker. Um, again, I'm not the most clued up on South End matters, but I'm so sure, sure the youth side, the youth side won the league, and he was central to that. Or they won some sort of accolade, so he's been doing decent, and he's making headwinds into, 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 into professional football, and he's already being noticed. Allegedly, Southampton, Brighton, and a cup West Ham been noted with his interest. He's 17. He's playing for South End. He can develop and things like that. Um, and they could make a decent profit. And I'm sure, he, no disrespect to Southend, he's got any footballer's got ambitions to possibly play at a higher level, but more importantly, the highest level. Looking into his profile as well, it was very, it got even more interesting because I've seen he's been at FC Dallas, a decent club in America that's been bringing through some youth players. Um, I think he's Eng- of English and Scottish heritage as well as America. He moved to America and he lived there for a bit and then he came back here. Um, I'm not the most clued up on his family matters, but that's on the short of it based on what I was able to see online. So it's an interesting one. I think he is a, one of them that's a natural born goal scorer. As for his level and, and how good he can be and all of these things, you don't know me, I don't get involved in that. And I haven't watched him enough to really give you an honest opinion of that. But he's someone I will be following and tracking his progress. And Southamp- Southampton, Southend is a club that a lot of youth players get picked up. A lot of players, you look at Isaac Hayden, Glenn Kamara at Arsenal, I'm so sure Charlie Cooper of Spurs, 
Um, there's been a couple other incidences as well. South South End, I keep saying Southampton. The South Ends, the Charltons, the even Stevenages, the Lutons. Um, these clubs, a lot of players that we see come through academies and we and, and we look at a lot of these players have been a couple of them have been picked up off other clubs. You look at um Trey Coyle and Tyrese John Jules. I don't know if it happened directly, but I'm so sure both of them spent time at Charlton's academy um once upon a time. So that shows you the dynamic which football is. But I really like Charlie Kellman. Again, he's a bit irrelevant to the actual thing, but he's a decent player, man. Hopefully, I wish him all the best, and he's he can play for England, Scotland, and America. And um, I'm not sure if England scouts, youth scouts, have been getting involved in 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 matters like that with with him. But who knows? And he's been linked with Scotland, and I'm sure he want to play for America. So it's an interesting one as well, man. Um, and this is a again I'm, another irrelevant thing, people really and truly. But I ha I'm developing my little watch list, and it's actually not for people. But I just thought let me speak about it because I'm staring at it in front of me. My watch list is basically similar to Calman. He's on it. Players that I'm just gonna just look at, and you know, I, I always tell you a lot about re scouting. It's all, all good looking at a player for a game and saying he's good, but you've got to watch a player consistently to build up a knowledge on him, and you've got to re scout. A lot of these young players sometimes they're ready, but they're not. You've got to, clubs will wait a year, it's like they're good, but let's wait a year and see what more they've got. It's all about confirmations, people. You can never be right in football, football will always humble you. That's why I try to take the position of I know nothing about this thing, basically. Because when you start having biases and stuff, you start to become complacent. And I believe if you want to be a student of something, a true student of game, in my opinion, that's not what you do. But Max Aarons, purely because I want to see how he gets on in the Premier League with the finer details. Um, Clark of Leeds, I want to see a bit more of him. All our former Arsenal youngsters that are playing it, wherever they are, and players that are on loan, of course. Um, Cassant's of Gladbach, he didn't have the best of seasons last season, but he's had a good under-20s and I think he is a very good midfielder. I think box to box is his thing, sort of playing more, showing more of his 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 qualities in the final third. But I believe as he gets older and mature, he can play a couple of roles in midfield. He could be that sort of deep line playmaker, that someone that dictates a game. I think he's very good. I would love to bring that midfielder into my club, really and truly. But ain't gonna happen. Um, Toulouse, I can't remember his name, but they've got a young centre half that's playing. At the Toulon tournament, I'm going to keep an eye on Toulouse and him in general. Sangre of, of Toulouse as well. Gohori's back from his injury, so I'm going to be looking at him of Lyon. Adley, now that he's obviously left PSG, I'm keen to see him. Moreno, that I've come across it, it get for Argentina in the under-20s youth tournament. And also Barca, I'm keen to see a bit more of him potentially in the MLS. I must admit I don't watch much of MLS, but I think I'll watch a bit more of him in it. So, apologies. So on that note, people, I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, thank you for watching each and every time. People, deluded.